Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and you are listening to Subhash Chandran. In this video, we are going to discuss about pipe racks in process plant and we are going to see what is the importance of pipe rack, what is the role of pipe rack and what are the different types of pipe racks are available in the process plant and what is the basic structure of pipe rack. So we are going to see all of these details. So before getting into the video, if you have not subscribed, I kindly request you to give me a subscription. So let's get into the video now. Pipe rack is an integral part of process plant. Pipe rack actually looks like this with a structural body and the structural body could either be of concrete as well and it will have a different levels of elevation. These different levels of elevations are meant for different purposes to carry different services and pipe rack also runs across the unit to ease some requirement of the plant actually. Pipe rack is actually meant for carrying pipes but pipe rack not only carries a pipe it will also carry uh, electrical and instrumentation cables and cable trays actually. So this is the typical uh, aerial view, the typical top view of the plant. So here from this picture you will be able to understand, you will be able to see the, the root of the pipe rack actually. If you could clearly observe this, the pipe rack is distributed uh, in such a way that uh, the, all the uh, equipments, major equipments and all the areas of the plants uh, could be covered. Let's say for an example, the pipe rack is uh, constructed uh, in such a way to give uh, equal distributions to all the areas of the plant. Say for an example, the, if this uh, equipment needs a cable tray, it could be laid over this uh, rack and if uh, this equipment needs a piping, it could also be uh, laid over this rack. So pipe rack is a very vital part, it's more or less like a backbone of the process plant. It helps to channelize the services used for various purposes in the process plant. So without pipe rack, it may not be uh, that much easier to um, uh, give a distributions of a different services to different plants actually. So this is the vital importance of the pipe rack. Now we'll see what is the different patterns available uh, in uh, the in, in pipe rack. See different patterns are these patterns are basically uh, to be suited based on the uh, layout and based on the uh, plot available. It could be either of this first choice or second choice. It's a straight uh, pipe rack and it's a T-shaped pipe rack and this one is an L-shaped pipe rack and it, it could also be of a different shape. But all of these shapes and roots are basically based on the uh, to suit a particular layer to suit certain requirement of the plant actually. So say for an example here the pipe enters from one location and exit from the other location. But here pipe enters from three locations and exit from three, three locations. It is basically to ease certain requirement of the plant actually. Now we'll see the material of the pipe racks. See pipe rack has two body, one is a civil body and other one is a structural body. Structural body is either made of a steel or concrete and civil body is made of a concrete uh, foundation. Uh, it is known as an RCC reinforced foundation basically. So now we'll see the types of uh, pipe rack based on construction. We have two types of pipe racks based on construction type which is the on-field pipe rack and the other one is the modular pipe rack. See on field pipe rack is nothing but the pipe rack constructed from scratch in the field actually. So you will not be bringing anything from outside, you will be making the uh, pipe rack from scratch from zero to the completion actually. But modular pipe rack is totally a different term, um, uh, the, the scheme actually. In modular pipe rack you will be constructing only the civil foundations in the field but the entire pipe rack will come from outside. Say for an example a vendor will manufacture the entire pipe rack from some other country or some part of the country and he'll be shipping it to you. So you just have to uh, receive this uh, pipe rack and have to install in your location. So this will save the time of your uh, um, the construction activity in your uh, in, in, in your project actually. And the other type is basically based on the arrangement. We have two major arrangements, is a primary rack arrangement and secondary rack arrangement. Primary rack arrangement is nothing but the central pipe rack which carries the maximum number of lines and maximum number of cables and maximum number of utilities basically. And secondary rack is nothing but the distribution rack that goes to an individual equipment or individual skid or individual location basically. So primary rack is the central rack and uh, secondary rack is the branched out rack basically. Now we'll see the typical structure of a pipe rack which is very important to understand. See typical structure of the pipe rack looks like this. The first level is known as an access level. Access level where uh, the, it is uh, designed in uh, um, uh, designed in such a way that the small vehicles like um, the forklift and small cranes could enter 
uh, in below the rack uh, to do some maintenance activities comfortably and the second level is for the process piping because process pipings are generally laid over um, at this level to uh, reduce the length of the piping if you're going to have this process piping at the very top elevation the length of the process uh, line will be very high and the process uh, flow will not be that much efficient actually and for the next level uh, utilities utilities are uh, such as a steam condensate water air are known as utilities so utilities are planned uh, um, in the above rack above the uh, process piping so and we should also notice and one the yellow uh, box the yellow box indicates the future expansion when you're planning for a pipe rack we should also consider the future expansion so that uh, if in case of any uh, additional lines comes in future you won't uh, fa face a space constraint basically and above utility piping you could see the cable tray areas cable tray areas are basically used for instrumentation cable trays electrical cable trays and electrical or instrumentation conduits and you should also consider the future expansion for uh, cable trays as well and the top level and the top levels of uh, the pipe rack is mostly of uh, air coolers or uh, uh, basically a heat exchanger known as an air cooler so it will have a space uh, for uh, the the common uh, walkway should be there so that it could be accessible from so that both the um, motors and the air coolers could be accessible from uh, both the directions actually so that this is a typical uh, structure of the pipe rack but uh, it need not necessarily to have uh, these many racks uh, based on your requirement if the requirement of your uh, plant is very less you can minimize the rack and at the same time you can also increase the levels of the pipe rack based on the requirement but we should also uh, always consider that the height of the rack increases the uh, the the width of the foundation so it is wise enough to take a decision between the height and the width actually so that you can uh, have an uh, economical and um, and uh, the cost effective design basically so this is the uh, basic uh, structure of the pipe rack one should understand in piping so i believe this video has helped you to understand about the pipe rack if you like this video give me a like and share with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get a notification of all my posts i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra